Lions midweek players will have possibly their last game on tour tonight unless they do something special as they take on the Hurricanes in the capital. As for the home side, they have four All Blacks players involved who will be pushing for selection in the starting side for the second test or even in the 23. They're fighting for places. There will be a sellout crowd at Westpac Stadium tonight. Our sports reporter Barry Guy is outside on the live view. I wish I was with you, Barry. Oh, it's going to be a cracker of a game. What are the conditions like, first of all? Yeah, good. Actually, John, uh, I can see the stars. There's hardly any wind. And uh, we had some rain earlier in the week, so the underfoot might be a little bit soft, but um, it's not going to be wet. And uh, we're all set for, uh, yeah, an exciting night, hopefully. Yeah, lots of Lions fans there. I hear they're turning Wellington red. Yeah, exactly. I wandered downtown on my way to the stadium uh, this morning uh, just to check it out and then again this evening. And uh, yeah, they're all over the place. They're spending lots of money. They were filling the bars uh, just uh, earlier, a couple of hours ago, and then they're now coming in now. I think there's something like 15, 20,000 of them that are here. If so, mm -hmm. you know, they all come to this game. They're going to you know, drown the blimmin' Hurricane supporters tonight. It's going to be more red than yellow and black, I think. So. Uh, yeah, great for the economy, great for Wellington, and everyone seems to be in a really good mood. Let's hope by uh, 10 o'clock tonight or even uh, Sunday morning after the second test that they're not in such a joyous mood, perhaps. Yeah, it's exciting. Oh, they, they really bring something as uh, away fans. Let's talk about the Hurricanes team. They're missing at 9 and 10, TJ Perinara and Bowden Barrett, and they, and they really do set teams on fire when they're playing for them. So that is problematic. But if we look at their three quarters, Julian Sabia, uh, Nani Laumape, Vince Asso, Nehi Milner-Scudder and Jordy Barrett. Boy, that's an exciting three-quarter line, isn't it? I, yeah, it's, uh, it's wonderful, but I just wonder how much ball they're actually going to yeah, get because bummer. we've noticed from uh, the Lions the last couple of weeks that uh, they can strangle the uh, position for the opposition. And uh, Chris Boyd, the Hurricanes coach, John Plumtree, they both said that uh, that will be a problem for them. They're hoping to get ball from turnovers and, uh, you know, and malls and ruck and that sort of thing. But again, that's problematic because that's where you can give away penalties. The Lions will then kick to the corner or kick for goal and uh, put pressure on you once again. So, uh, as you said, uh, Tahuru Urangi at yeah, halfback and Terry Black at first five, big games for them yeah, big. because if they want to set those three quarters alive, then, yeah, I, I, I do think the Hurricanes will have difficulties tonight and uh, it'll be a great result if they get up uh, over the lines. Yeah, it's a, it's a big ask. Just before you go, you mentioned Chris Boyd, the Hurricanes coach, really good coach. It's a milestone for him and former All Black Corey Jane, who is just a, a, a wonderful fellow on and off the field. Big night for them both. Yeah, well, Corey Jane, firstly, uh, he's... Uh, such a stalwart of uh, Wellington rugby and a bit of a comic as well. He was in the reserves when the Wellington Lions played the Lions in 2005, so he's the only survivor of that. He's in the reserves tonight, and I'm sure he'll get on and get yeah, to play. And Chris Boyd, this is the third time he's coached against the uh, British and Irish Lions. He was the coach in 2005 for the Wellington game. He then went off to South Africa. He coached the Sharks. Uh, when they played the touring lines in 2009 and again he's coached tonight. He hasn't had a win yet so uh, I'm pretty sure he'll be uh, hoping to get uh, on the right side of the ledge this evening. Right, Barry, very quickly pick a score for us. 22-12 to the Hurricanes. Oh, oh God, oh, God <laughs> Barry Guy <laughs> saying the right things live from uh, the stadium in Wellington.